Welcome to the Stu Peter Show. My name is Stu. Well, if you trust them, the big polls say that Republicans are in a good position ahead of the 2022 midterms. But let's be real. None of the polls will matter if the basic security of our elections isn't dealt with and fixed immediately. Democrats will just harvest all the mail votes they need to win any remotely competitive race. Plus the machine debacle. You can't fix these elections at the national level. It has to be done at the local level. It's the precinct and city and county offices that administer elections, and it's state legislators who can pass actual laws to curtail mail voting and cheating and fraud, mandate real voter ID, and a whole lot more. For most of the GOP, this is just a fake issue that they can fundraise off of. They're grifting. Fix 2020. It's a hashtag you've seen all over the place. But that's what every issue is like for most of these GOP fake phonies. But this isn't fake for my pillow founder, Mike Lindell. He's dedicated his life, his business, his entire reputation to restoring our elections. And he has some great news on that front. But also, Mike, I'm told that you have some breaking stuff coming out of Texas and an urgent call to action we see on the screen here. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, you guys, everything, everybody knows everything I've been fight. we've all been fighting for for over a year now, since the morning of November 4th, that we knew this whole, it was the biggest crime in the history of the world. Um, what we have, all the things we're doing to make this or to fix that won't mean anything if you hear what I'm going to tell you next. In the state of Texas, these Republicans, these judges, they they made a ruling in December that the Attorney General of Texas cannot prosecute election crime. Now, let me get let me let, let me tell you with it. Now, this is it's beyond belief. It's almost. I don't know what's more bizarre, that or yesterday when you heard this administration is buying crack pipes for all the crack and meth users in the country. I mean, seriously, I don't know which one's more bizarre to me. And I, and I mean that. They took away the attorney general of Texas, which will all the, now let me tell you what will happen. It won't matter what we do in this election, everybody, if they don't reverse this. They need to reverse it. We have a call to action for everybody, not just you people in Texas. But for the whole country, you need to call these people, representatives, these judges, you need to email them and say, reverse this decision. If this goes, everybody, no matter what happens in 2022 that we do to make it the safest selection ever, the most secure, which we're working so hard, hundreds of thousands of people out there. If you they'll just cheat. Now you can just cheat. It's like it's like Stu. It's like uh, California. Uh, where uh, you can steal $999 worth of stuff and not get prosecuted. Yeah, which, by the way, by, which, by the way, also in Texas, they did it in a few places in Dallas where you can steal $750,000 worth of stuff. So you see how corrupt legislative politicians make these things and you don't even know about it. This is one that's so important. You didn't see this on Fox News, Stu. No. You didn't see this on Fox News. It's disgusting. If you Texas falls, it. Mike Lindell, if Texas falls, this country will never, ever again have a free and fair election, which tells nope. you why Mark Zuckerberg just recently moved to Texas, because they know that. The enemy knows yep. that if Texas falls, the country is gone. That's it's correct. done. So in this call to action, we're going to put it on the screen. We're also going to put it at StuPeters.com. I know that you'll have it at Frank's speech as well. But one of the yep. uh, action items here is to immediately contact Governor Greg Abbott uh, and Lieutenant Governor Patrick uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, and this is for everybody in the country. You have to understand, yes. this is not just for Texans in this call to action. So there's some specific line items there underneath uh, agenda item number one. And then contacting the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals and demanding right now that they grant the state's motion for rehearing. There has to be a rehearing on this. The attorney yes. general cannot be castrated when it comes to election fraud and neutered and unable to charge anybody. This is just, it's... It, and, and you know why they went after Texas first? Because the Attorney General Ken Paxton has done more for election integrity to fight for our country than any any Attorney General in the country. He, he won 12 lawsuits before the 2020 election, everybody, where they tried to change, change uh, Texas just like they did, and they got away with it in Wisconsin. They got away with it in Michigan. They got away with it in Pennsylvania. Uh, Arizona and Georgia, Minnesota, New Hampshire, everywhere. Texas, he fought hard, and he was 12 for 12, Stu, to protect Texas. So you know what? What are you going to do if you're the enemy? You're going to strip the attorney general of his right to prosecute 
the the election, uh, any election crime. You guys, this is when I heard this, I go, are you kidding me? So they could, so, I mean, they, you could you could be successful in all of your efforts, which we're going to talk about here yeah, in a second. That's getting right. Getting rid of all these machines, Dominion, Smartmatic, ESNS, all yeah. these things. You could have yeah. paper ballots. You could have tamper-proof everything. But none of that will matter if the attorney general is they could just come to you and say nope these are the numbers and these are what you have to accept well yeah but you're, it's rampant with fraud but it doesn't matter yep. we're going to do it anyways right in front of your right. face yep that's you're exactly right one person let's say it would be the secretary of state of a, of a state the person you could just take one person then and say here's our numbers and and you know they're fraudulent and the attorney general can't say um you're going to you're going to you're going to prison i mean you and we're going to change it. it's un I was, but it's bizarre. It's like, uh, all right. Boy, so you, you see a, it on the screen here. This a, is go ahead. I'm sorry. Back when I was a crack cocaine addict back in the day, I, and I'm going, I would have never thought that, Hey, I can, now I'm going to be given crack pipes by the government <laughs> and I'm not even get prosecuted over here by the government. When, it's like you, when you I'm were a crack gonna, addict, the, the president wasn't handing out crack pipes. That's amazing. No, it's, un, no. it's unbelievable. <laughs> so you can see it on the screen here, this call to action. This is the, probably the absolutely unequivocally the most undoubtedly the most pivotal thing that you could do right now this call to action nationwide uh, yep. all eyes laser focused on texas right now contact governor greg abbott lieutenant governor patrick and contact the texas court of criminal appeals right now and make sure that they have this rehearing we're going to put all of that contact information again at stewpeters.com and it'll be at frank's speech as well you have been extremely successful behind the scenes. Not a whole lot of people will report on this either. You're not going to find this at Fox News. But Mike Lindell has been traveling the country and meeting at the county level with those that are in charge of securing the election. Because remember, the State Board of Elections, the Secretary of State at the state level really don't have a whole lot of jurists over these county commissioners who then decide this is how we're going to run our election. So specifically in Hennepin County or Ramsey County here in Minnesota, that right. is the that's where the buck stops. So getting rid of these machines, you have found a whole lot of success with your formula, and we want to replicate that across the country. What do we do? Right. Well, you for one thing, go to you go to frankspeech.com and go to and learn at Cause of America in your state how you can get involved. Uh, it's Cause of America. We I became like the hub of the country for all the grassroots. But what you do, and you and you can get connected there. And what you do, these grassroots. I'll give an example. Let's say it's defend. Uh, defendflorida.org. I just met with them last week. I was in six states in four days. What we do is we, it's a sales pitch. You go into the county 